Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr. and this is Real True Street Crimes. Let me just have a little fun with y'all tonight and tell y'all just a little fun story about my aunt Bernice and my uncle William. I was with my grandfather and my grandmother lived at 5900 Marcus. This is where all the going downs went down at 5900 Marcus is where I grew up at. I would break my neck to get there. When Friday was over school in Southfield, I had to get over on the east side, 5,900 markers. For my entire life from kindergarten, all I remember is calling my grandfather to come get me out of that dungeon I was in in Southfield, you understand? So I would always call my grandfather to come get me out that dungeon. And I appreciate him with all of my heart and soul to this very day. But he had came pick me up. Now my Uncle William was trying to go out. It was a Friday night. Now the movie Let's Do It Again was out. Clear, I remember it clear as a bell. My Uncle William was wearing some knickerbockers, a blue outfit, almost the color of ivy blue. He had on a blue knickerbocker outfit and he needed my Aunt Bernice to give him a press and curl. That is when you curl your hair up with the comb with them kind they put on the stove and let them get red hot and have to blow on them motherfuckers. So now she didn't curl this hair up tight. She didn't pick it out. Now she got the straightening comb to pull it up a little after she break the curls back after she didn't tighten them motherfuckers. You got this suppressing curl. Now you got to pick it up a little bit. So she got the straightening comb on the stove getting hot. After she didn't pick William's hair up, she got it. William looking good. Now he got these thick and thin socks pulled all the way up to his goddamn knees. I mean, he looked just like Bill Cosby in Let's Do It Again. Burn Easton pick, picked and got that Pressing curl all fluffed up, about ready to go. William, Bernice, come on, hurry up now, girl. I got to get out of here and go. Come on, Bernice. Now, and he used to chew tobacco, and he spit it the tobacco out. Tobacco was big then. So he was chewing tobacco, and he, he used to do it. Pichu, he spit it the tobacco out. That goddamn comb on the oven and got red motherfucking hot. You could see the redness in it. He fussing that. Come on, Bernice, let's go. Bernie's picking it up. She grabbed that goddamn comb off of there. She swung that motherfucker to hit his head to pull it up a little. All you seen was woof, a poof like a goddamn smoke. Look, William ain't have no goddamn hair left out. Bernie's had burnt every stitch of that shit out. Me and my grandfather fell on the goddamn floor. Bernie's to burn all of William's goddamn hair when she hit that straightening chrome. So I'm just saying this to give all you ladies right now who might have to do your own hair, be careful with them goddamn hot ass straightening combs because you'll burn all your shit out. Then she hit him a couple times on the back of that neck. You know how that motherfucker be working and wow, baby, hold, buddy. You hit that goddamn neck now. You know that hot ass comb because that motherfucker stand on the oven and then she got the, boy, she was Toe Williams' ass up. Boy, that motherfucker went in there after that. Fred. He went in Fred's room with today's older brother. Fred, let me borrow one of your apple hats. That nigga left there with one of Fred's apple hats. <laughs> Looking just like Bill Cosby and motherfucking Let's Do It Again. Pippin' out of there. You know how he come in there pippin' with the long ass socks on? That's how my Uncle Wee was trying to walk. That shit was so fucking funny. You can never believe it. But that's just advice to y'all during this coronavirus. Letting you know if you're out there doing your own heads, cutting your heads or whatever, take it a little easy. And as I always say to y'all, and I'm going to say to y'all, Benedict Arnold, Donald J. Trump, is an enemy to the American people. He is a liar. He gives untruths. He contradicts the experts. He knows nothing, but he's going to contradict the experts. I call on all of y'all, please do not come running out of here in May 1st talking about open this country up and no one has been tested.
How can you open up the country? No one has been tested. Here is from the most smartest people in the world. Harvard and another university did a study and they told your politicians who are nothing but crooks and thieves and robbers, told them clearly just yesterday, it is going to take a hundred billion dollars. This is from Harvard. If they talking crazy, tell Harvard that they're talking crazy and tell they scientists and they professors and people who have went to school for a lifetime for just this, that they don't know what the fuck they talking about. They said it is going to take a hundred billion dollars to test everybody in America free twice. You know how much money your Republican politicians put to that? $30 million the next day. They told them 100 and the exact next day after they told them it would take $100 billion, your cheap politicians put $30 billion in the most prestigious college in the world has told them it's going to take $100 billion for the government to test everyone. Now, Benedict Arnold, Donald J. Trump is an enemy to the American people. The buck stops with him. He is the president. Quit trying to push it to the governors and allowing these racist white people like in Michigan and Lansing to kill themselves and us along with them. I did not vote for Donald Trump. I voted for Hillary Clinton. Three and a half million other people voted for her too. In this country, she won the popular vote. And let me give America a heads up right now. And you heard it here first. And hear me and hear me damn well. Women are better leaders of these countries than men are. Look at the statistics. Women who are leaders of these countries, but we are so racist here in America, we cannot elect a woman to lead us. And if you look at it, the countries that they are leading are the best when it comes to coronavirus and policies that help the people who have it and not to get it. Women are the best politicians, you American people better quit looking past these women because we need them. Look at their records. Don't look at this male bullshit that they running on you, this white man shit. Only a white man can save us. We've been running on that for 400 something years. Only a white man can save us. I think that's the biggest crock of bullshit I ever heard. A white woman can save us too. A black woman can save us. A black woman can save us. A black woman can save us. Know that. Quit thinking that you better than women because you are not. You are sadly mistaken. The leadership that you get from these egotistical, fucked up ass white men it's very sad and it's killing us all. And look at this motherfucker in Georgia. Study got the highest rate of coronas rising and he wants to open, open it back up. What the fuck is going on here? Are we going to sit here sleep like we motherfucking slaves and ain't educated enough to get up off our ass and go vote? I said it before. I'm proud of women. The women in Georgia got up and went and voted. More women voted there than they had registered. That, that show Alabama. you how fucked up their system is. That was and Alabama, how lying baby. it is. You understand? So know that women have a major part to play. And that we need to get them in the game and quit with this bullshit. 
You understand? We should have had a woman running this country right now, and I guarantee y'all we wouldn't be in this situation because she wouldn't have broke down all the defenses that Barack Obama put up. And nobody will say nothing about that. Y'all keep making excuses for this for this number 45. Why why is everybody making so much so many excuses for number 45? Putin put him in office. So y'all making excuses for the man who hates America worse. Yeah. Yeah, this is what you're doing. You see what he did in Helsinki. You see it's a, a slap in the face. And we just accept it because these no good Republican politicians, which I pray to America, you are replaced. Because they finna kill a lot of y'all. Mitch McConnell, Devin Nunes, and a whole lot of them pieces of shit. Jim Jordan. They finna kill a lot of American citizens. Lindsey Graham is begging that motherfucking governor not to open up. That's the only one that's got sense, but he ain't shit. Because he was dogging Donald Trump, then he jumped in line like a motherfucking flunky. Lindsey Graham ain't nothing but a motherfucking flunky. He ain't no man, because a man don't fall in line with a piece of shit. This is Eddie Jackson Jr., Real True Street Crime. Subscribe, share this more than any other one. Peace and love, I'm out.